Amanda Knox appeared in court today wearing a Beatles sweatshirt. It's the first time she's been in court since a two-month summer recess in her trial. She's now spent nearly 600 days in jail, and over the summer, the temperatures in that jail went as high as 90 degrees. There's no air conditioning in the cells. But the process now has reached its most decisive stage. It's the examination of DNA evidence, which both prosecution and defense see as key to conviction or acquittal. The prosecution's case is based on DNA of Knox, which was found on a knife, which was also contained the DNA of the victim, 21-year-old British student Meredith Kircher, and there was DNA from her, from um, Knox's Italian boyfriend, Raffaele Salocito, on the clasp of a bra belonging to Kircher. However, that piece of evidence was missing for 47 days, and a forensic expert hired by the Knox family says that the DNA was not only contaminated, it was mishandled in every possible way. And they're relying on that evidence from the expert, which is taking place during the, the latest proceedings, to try to have the case thrown out. If it's not thrown out, Amanda Knox faces the prospect of 30 years in jail. And even if she's acquitted of the charge of murder and sexual violence, she could still be charged with various other crimes, including misleading the police, um, misnaming someone as a suspect, a bar owner named Patrick Lumumba, who's since been exonerated, and also of causing a break-in or being part of an alleged break-in at the apartment that she shared with the victim, which police believe was used to cover up the murder. However you look at it, Amanda Knox is in still in very serious trouble. Alan Pizzi, CBS News, Perugia.